Inside Out 2 is out in theaters for over a little more than two weeks, and it has already become the highest grossing movie of 2024 so far, grossing $761.9 million at the time of writing, and literally taking Disney and Pixar out of their gravestone, while simultaneously breaking tons of opening weekend records. So, how does a Disney distributed Pixar movie become the biggest success of 2024 thus far, in less than 20 days? Oh, it's that time in the twisty tree, remember? Right, so to start off, I want to show you 8 main arguments on how such numbers can be reached, if not more smaller details. Oh yeah, remember this chocolate bar, you will need it. So the first main cause has to do with its targeted audience. If you for instance take two highly anticipated films, such as Doom Part 2 and Furiosa, all of these had a certain fan base from previous installments. But Doom mainly appealed to a more experienced audience, whilst for Furiosa, it seemed to primarily attract its fanbase and not the mass audience. Unlike Inside Out 2, that also had a great family appeal, which already helps on its own. Which is a good thing, when you think about it, because... Especially when most school years are ending, plus the first Inside Out was released all the way back in 2015, creating 9 years of anticipation for one of the most well-received Pixar movies. Now I come to the chocolate bar. Imagine that you're sitting in a classroom and a friend of yours sits right beside you and says Hey, you should try this, it's good. How likely is it that you will purchase the chocolate bar? That's exactly what happened to Inside Out 2. When websites like Rotten Tomatoes and CinemaScore give you a 90% plus an A grade, it's not uncommon that it will attract more people, especially if it's not just the critics, but also audiences that highly praise the sequel. And now, what I personally think is one of the biggest factors has to do with its authenticity. You see, one of the new characters in Inside Out 2 is this little fella, Anxiety. Now Anxiety on its own, it's very hard not to relate to. We all have our anxieties. For spiders, snakes, and, and uh... The new Inside Out sequel promised more than a second film, just because the first film made big money. And that promise led to four new characters. Anxiety, envy, ennui, and embarrassment. Easily making up for a more compelling plot and a solid reason to create a second film. My next argument is very simple. When did Inside Out 2 get its theatrical release in the United States? The answer is June 14th. Just look at the space between Inside Out 2 and its potential competitors. And what gives it a touch of craziness is that they didn't release it for competition reasons, but rather because of Pixar's tradition to release its films in June. Of course, you can look as good as you like, but if no one sees it, goodness me did Inside Out 2 reach a lot of people. Starting out early on November 9th, 2023, the teaser trailer and poster were released. As in the first 24 hours, the trailer was viewed 157 million times on all social media platforms. Imagine if they all immediately went and watched the film. But it didn't end there. A clip was shown during the Super Bowl, followed by a second trailer and a poster on March 7th. And the trailer itself showed major story developments. The introduction of Anxiety is a good example, as it avoided big spoilers, yet it appealed to its fan base and delivered enough intrigue for new audiences. And that's where I... Wait! You forgot something. Don't forget about the aftermath. Think about the happiness it delivered. Wunderbar. The world certainly has its difficulties. And in terms of cinema, films like Civil War and Dune don't really give that happy tone either. Just that situation when you walk out of the theater and you feel happy, energetic, excited only because of a story that builds up to that feel-good feeling and forgetting the troubles of day-to-day -day life. You ready? Yeah. Everything summarized. A large audience appeal, strong marketing and massive reach, great reviews, traditional release dates, paid off promises, easily relatable to anxiety, a well-known first film, a happy ending, and I didn't even mention that they prepped with a clinical psychologist. So. Pixar and Disney finally proved some glimpses of what it used to be. And just like a chocolate bar, it gives you that happy feeling.